History has shown how one man with a dream can turn the world into a nightmare. Can history repeat itself? Only you can decide if it's a dream or a nightmare. But be warned, if history can repeat itself, so can man. Well, it's a synthetic. A synthetic's when you touch their skin, it feels like uh, plastic almost. That's the latest technique. The old, the old techniques, uh, if you guys can rent a video, uh, the boys from Brazil, rent it because in it, it gives you the exact way it, how our government's been making people. Really? Yeah. Well, come and the on. Soviets have a different method called. I mean, making people meaning temporary people? No, walking, talking ones. Meaning through genetics? You're not talking about that? Well, let me tell you. Let me. Yeah, the movie shows it, but I'll share it with you right now. All right. All I need to do is take two cells off of your body, yours. Uh huh. We give them a small electrical charge. I'll act like a fertilized egg. If I got a fertilized egg, all I need is a receiver in order to make it. So they were hypnotizing women, you know, said they were being invaded by aliens. And the fetus starts growing, right? Needs food. Well, they can use cows and sheep, too. It's again, a food source. That's all we need. After about 14 weeks, all of a sudden, that fetus is gone. Because they've learned to take, that's when the fetus starts developing its own blood supply then they've used a pituitary hormone extract that they have which accelerates the being that grows. And the original technology was given to our government by the Greys. Now, the reason was that our scientists were all excited because we could have spare parts. If you need a heart or a liver or anything, you won't have any rejection. It's your own DNA, right? Okay, because theoretically, if we have overpopulation, we don't need more people, right? That's, but the so-called elite are selecting on who they want to have around anyway, so if we want to keep people going as long as we can. I, I talked to the doctor that was working on uh, regeneration of Castro, for instance. Right. On the DNA sequencing. And, that, and they're just learning about this. They said, now we've got the perfect deal. How can we have that work better? Well, if you go to the hospital today and get an encephalogram, what's that? That's the memory of your conscious mind. It's on the CD, let's download it on this being. Now we got a walking, talking duplicate that has the total memory that you have because we just took it off of your own mind. Okay, it's like Blade Runner, the android. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that it's like this uh, DVD re re you know, recorder. Sometimes you have glitches in it so you have to have them tuned up occasionally or redone them. And so we take them to Camp David or there's a wing at Bethesda Hospital to just tell you. There's, if you go down there and check, you'll find the, the nurses, if they're willing to come forth, they'll tell you they work on those people and they call them the others. I thought it was uh, interesting. <laughs> they're people. Remember, these people can think and act, but they don't sure. have soul. That's also prophesized. Right, Soulless that's beings. true. That's true. Now we have another agenda that's going on, so you have to be careful of all this. There are many extraterrestrials that would like to be in on the game right now, so they can sometimes will come in to these physical beings that we've made to manipulate them. I see. So okay. now you have a combination effort that you have to look at and discernment. Mm -hmm. You have to discern what the game is. Well, this figure that most of the leaders we have in the world have been bought and paid for or created to think a certain way in the world. This isn't evolution. It's an abomination. He betrayed you! He betrayed the iron race! History has shown how one man with a dream can turn the world into a nightmare. Can history repeat itself? Only you can decide if it's a dream or a nightmare. But be warned, if history can repeat itself, so can man. But is it a clone or not? Oh, now you know we're going about cloning. Cloning techniques, uh, since 38, we've been, 1938, they've been making clone people. There's eight countries making clones. I have a doctor okay, friend that all it does is treat you, the clones. Where do you get your information? I get it from some of the people that are willing to come forth, and they talk to me because they hope I'll put the information out because they, they always got two people following them and maybe be killed. If I start talking about cloning too much, the people that get involved into that 
uh, you disappear on it. So I don't go into too many more details, but there are there is information that's available. And it, more and more of that is coming on the line. I just told you, go rent the, uh, the movie. Okay, Boys from Brazil. Yeah, and you'll see the whole technique on what they, they show it to you in different places. So you, you can imagine what it's going on. Now let us look at the reality that the Twin Towers were bombed on 9-11. Specifically on 9-11 as a date that was chosen for a very specific reason. The Twin Towers, which represented dual DNAs, mother and father DNA, were bombed on 9-11 because Revelation 9-11 says, they had a king over them, which was the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in Greek tongue has the name Apollyon. Now if you look at the name Barack Hussein Obama Sobarka, the name Sobarka backwards is Akrab Eos. The name Akra means to act in a way against one's own will and against one's own moral convictions and values. The word Eos means Mother Goddess Morning Star. The root of Eos is Eo, which is Abaddon, Apollyon. When George Bush stood at ground zero, he read Psalm 23 after the destruction of the Twin Towers. Each parent provides 23 chromosomes for the production of a new life. 23 and 23 is 46. That is the completed number of chromosomes in human DNA. Barack Hussein Obama so Barca to act in a way against one's own will, Apollyon Abaddon, read Psalm 46. He also stood in the temple of God, which is the human body, and said, Be still and know that I am God. Just as Jesus entered into his ministry, he stood before the Pharisees and he read from the book of Isaiah. He said, I have come to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the release of the captives. And he said, today in your hearing, the scriptures are fulfilled. The Jews didn't understand him. And Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven comes in a way not perceived by man. So does the kingdom of the devil. The Bush Clinton presidential election campaign in the 1990s, we can see that Bill Clinton was nothing more than a puppet to the puppet masters, which placed him in the White House. Bill Clinton's demeanor seems to be similar to a person who is under a hypnotic trance. But is the clone or not? Oh, now you know I'm going by cloning. Cloning techniques, uh, since 38 we've been, 1938 they've been making clone people.